you all. Take this. Searing flame. Reload. Take this. Let You're the finished. marksman handle this. I never miss. Take Don't this. let them form a pack. Here I go. See ya. Normally, I don't pick up. Pick this! A freezing storm. You're finished! One oh, final fight! Less talking, more pummeling. I'm sure I can put this to use. I've noticed the Zoogles here are a lot different from what we're used to back in Calaglia. It's because this realm is so cold. I am a... of the trash. An instant. Here I come! It's over! It's over! Cyan instant! Take this! None shall You're escape mine. my judgment! It's over! You're right. finished! See ya! You're mine! You're finished! Tusk cannon! By the Take this! Of water. Together, that wasn't even a problem. Would you like to warm up some? Aren't there people in there? You should let yourself unwind when you get the chance. I guess there's no arguing with that. Happy now, Shion? Yeah, I'd say so. She'd better be, after all she ate. I stopped before I was full, though. What? Get lost! You're mine! Serious You're finished! Reload! You're lost! Talon stole! Here I come! Don't go charging Serious off like that! Reload! Still got some energy Reload! left? Need you ask? Glad to hear it. In that case, cover me! Let's keep our eyes on the prize.
I hate camping out. Okay, off we go. I'll take you all off! Here I come! We're free to huh? stun! Mirage! Ice tornado! You're mine! Don't go charging off it's like over. that! It's over! Take this! It's over! How's this? Mega Red I'm not done! Normally I don't pick on the weak. None shall You're escape finished. my judgment. Here I come. What you through? You're finished. Had it Ray. coming. Take Hell it. Sword. You're finished. Cut. Oh. Had it. Take this. Ah, great. See On to the next. Roger Reload. that. Show me what you can do, kiddo. I'm sure I can put this to use. Houses in a place like this. People really live all the way out here? The whole area is just little villages. This one's Messia 224. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like people arguing. Bureau agents. The Snake Eyes must be here. We should sneak past them. That was my original plan, since you all stick out so much. Why? In case one of your people tattles on us? It's the Renans who are making us do it. Oh yeah? Like this Renan who you need to save your people's skin? Well, that's rich coming from the Bright Eyes whose people are the reason we're in this mess in the that's first enough. place. But she started it! Three centuries of resentment is too much to lay at a single person's feet. Same goes for you, Xion. You can't ignore the past when speaking of the present.
Now, what's going on in that village? If I were to guess, someone tipped off the Snake Eyes and they're here to make an arrest. You'd better not be about to suggest we get involved. I'm here for the Lord's Head, and nothing more. That go for you too, Alfin? Why did you come? Why? To liberate this realm's slaves, of course. Are you still a slave? Me? No. Then tell me what it means to live unshackled. I'll tell you what it means. It means living on your own terms. Being your own master. Thinking and making decisions for yourself. And being prepared to accept the consequences. Understand? Yeah, I think so. Good. So prove it to me. Shion. Don't start with me. I'm not going, and that's that. I understand. Just wait here with Rinwell till we get back, okay? You're going in without the sword? Looks to be that way. This is my choice, after all. Your choice? Ugh, listen to yourself. That sword's you- But I need us all to make it safely to Sislodan. Too many sacrifices have already been made. We came here to put a stop to any more. You've... You've sacrificed something too, huh? Hide somewhere until it's over. You hear me? Damn those Renans. I hate seeing Danon suffering under them here too. I'm surprised you're so angry about it. You're not even from here. It doesn't matter where I'm from. Enough is enough with these people. Silence embedded. Anyone who fails to cooperate will be arrested and tried as a traitor to the realm. <sighs> Damn it. Some rat must have sold us out again. You there! You want me to haul you up on suspicion of civil disobedience? But, but I didn't! <laughs> what? Leave him alone! An embedded dares to find the orders of his lordship! Know your place, slave! We can't use the Blazing Sword this close to the villagers. They could get hurt. But there are too many agents. Zephyr? Law? Is that you? <laughs> What's going on? Aren't we supposed to be fighting them? You're alive. What are you doing here? The realm of Cislodia doesn't tolerate civil dissidents like you. Law. I hereby detain you in the name of his lordship! Zephyr? Help! Zephyr! Get 
Here they come! Fire I'll take you all off! Big blast! No, no, no. I Here I come! I'm going in! Bring them down! Here I come! A freezing it's storm! Fall down! Fall away! Fall down. Fire in the hole! Finger on you. I prefer it that way. What about you? Just watch and see. You're finished! Zephyr, are you trying to get caught? I'm sure that can be arranged. Not if I can help it! Abort! Mission! You're mine! What's going on, Zephyr? Why won't you fight him? <clears throat> Is that soldier someone you know? Don't hurt him. Huh? What are you... Please. It won't work, you know. He's my son. Oh, so now you remember me. The nerve of you. I'm gonna wipe that damn look off your face once and for all! What in hell? <laughs> Reinforcements. Use the sword. I can't. The villagers will get caught in the blast. We need to fall back. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Suffer! Go. Leave without me. <laughs> you can't. I'm not leaving without him. Alfin, there's no time. But what about the resistance? Everyone's counting on you. Forgive me. <laughs> We've waited all night, but nobody's shown up. No sign of Zephyr or an enemy pursuit. So, what's the plan now? You really need to ask? We go rescue Zephyr. If he's under arrest, they'll have taken him to Sisloden, the capital city. Assuming he's still alive, that is. I can't believe Zephyr never told us he had a son. I wonder if the rest of the Crimson Crows knew about it. And to find him in that village of all places. Some coincidence, huh? Those fireworks you pulled out of your hat back there. They were astral arts, weren't they? Shion, what the hell are you Except doing? Except I've never heard of a Danon who can cast astral arts. Are you a Renan? Like hell I am! No, of course not. Renan's eyes light up when they use astral arts. And when you used an art, your eyes definitely didn't. So I guess that means you can't be a so-called bright eyes after all. Sorry.
You're right. Those were astral arts I used. Same as the ones wielded by the Renans. A long time ago, my family, my people, were once known as mages. A Danon mage? Up until now, I'd only ever heard of them in stories and rumors. Though now I've seen one with my own eyes, I suppose I'll have to believe it. We've been in hiding for a long, long time, even before the Renans first attacked. That's why no one knew about us. Even before the Renans? Yeah. My ancestors were persecuted and targeted for their gifts. But it was by their fellow Danans. They lived hidden away all these centuries, keeping their existence secret even from the Resistance. My mom and dad drilled it into me that I was never, under any circumstances, supposed to let anyone find out about us. If that's the case, then why did you use your powers back there? I don't know. One second I saw Zephyr about to be killed, and the next I was... Danon Astral Arts. If the Renans knew such a threat existed, there'd be hell to pay. Hey! What? You think I'm gonna go to the Lords with this information? I'm a traitor and an outcast at this point. Or did you forget? What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. Didn't you ever want to use it to help your people? Don't talk like you know the first thing about me, Renan! That's enough. Zephyr wouldn't want this. Listen, all I care about is taking out the Lords, okay? Which is no doubt what her people want too. Using her powers to help do it only makes sense. Makes sense for who? Us? Besides, Zephyr comes first. We can't just abandon him. It's fine. Huh? You're going to save Zephyr, right? If so, you're going to need my powers to do it. I don't want anyone else to die. Are you sure? Then let's get back to the village. We need to find out what happened. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing, just... I'm surprised how dark out it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's still night after all. No, that's what's weird. A lot of time's passed since we arrived in Cislodia. You'd figure the sun would have come up by now. Oh, right. It's not like this back in Calaglia, is it? To be honest, I completely forgot. Uh, basically? It's always night in this realm. Huh? It's been that way forever. It never gets any brighter outside, even in the morning. So it's always dark all day long? But how? How is that even possible? Did the Renans cause this? Of course they did. It's complicated to explain, though. It'd be easier to just get to Sisloden so you can see what's going on for yourself. I'll take your word for it. But right now, finding Zephyr comes first.
wonder how Zephyr's doing. If that law guy is his son, they shouldn't be rough with him. I want to believe that. But those two didn't look like they're exactly on good terms. Actually, now I'm curious. Out of our way! You're mine! Rising Rising Wyvern! It's eerily quiet. No sign of Zephyr. You think they took him away already? What say we quit hiding and go ask some villagers? Someone's bound to report us no matter what we do. So we might as well. Hey, Shion! What? You heard her. She's got a point. Our cover was blown last night. Where's the sense in sneaking around? And what if there are soldiers lurking about? They would have followed us to the cabin already. Relax, the coast is clear. Let's hurry and speak to the villagers. Is she always like that? I don't know how you managed to put up with her. What makes you think I'm managing? Let's try talking to the villagers. Messia 224? Now that's a weird name. Messia is basically a code. It indicates it's a small village. So it's not its actual name? Then does that mean that 224 is... Yeah. It's merely a serial number assigned to it for administrative purposes. So the Renans even get to decide what places are called out in this realm. You're the friends of that man the Bureau agents took away. Please, leave us alone. We don't want any trouble. <gasps> Answer our questions and we'll leave you in peace. Where did the agents take our friend? S Sisludan. The capital. That's what they said. I knew it. What did we ever do to deserve this? We haven't even crossed the street without looking first. Why are they Shh. after us? Come on, we're wasting time. You'll need to hurry if you want to get your friend back. Not a single person who's been taken to Sisladin has ever returned. Hey, keep quiet! You're trying to get us all killed! Out to hell with that! Go on, report me! See if I care! I thought this Sisladin was a city. Is it a prison camp? It's the realm's capital. Though when you're forbidden to move freely like we are, there isn't much difference. My parents and siblings were taken by the Snake Eyes. I haven't heard from any of them since. For all I know, they're long dead by now. Anyway, go! And kill as many Snake Eyes as you can for me while you're there! All right. To Sisloden it is.
You see anybody Hello. around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Oh? Okay. Good. Okay. Oh! Hey. Using zoogles to make drinks. That takes guts. No one would have come up with it before the occupation. That's for sure. You don't think the snake eyes will hold it against them, do you? If anything, the warmth might help loosen them up. <sighs> hey. Hmm. Hey. Ugh. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. <sighs> I guess. Great. Huh? Huh? around here. like the Zoogle we were told about. An opponent like this should be easy. There's the Zoogle we were asked to handle. Gotta break through! You're mine! Burn in hell! Get You're, mine. You're mine! Huh? You're mine! You're mine! It's like trying to keep up with a wolf! Rising Wyvern! You're on! Take this! Come on! I know fine weapon material when I see it. on the prize. Is that the Zugo we're looking for? Right, here goes! Here goes. Done. 
Should be enough to make the area more safe to travel in. Your friends, Hoodle? Hey. Huh? Till next time. Hmm. Huh? I guess.
choice. It's over. Mirage! There! Here I One come! One more! Who wants to get now? Ignite! Take this! It's over! Take this! It's over! I can do it all day! Do it! It's over! Dance in the wind! You're mine! Air thrust! Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Xion. Get lost! Here I come! It's over! Here comes! Right the I'm not lost! Where are you going? Go You're finished! Who wants to die next? Take this! What and win? It's over! Barely a blip on our radar. Onward and upward. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after... Huh? Hey. Ugh. Sure. All right. Yeah! <laughs> How's this? Yeah! 
<laughs> hmm. What? <sighs> huh? Hmm? <laughs> Just great. <sighs> They reacted just like we expected. Yeah. Do you? People are really terrified of the Snake Eyes. They've got them jumping at their own shadows. They may be Lord Ganabelt's lackeys, but for all intents and purposes, it's the Snake Eyes who control the realm. One wrong look, and your history. So Zephyr's being moved to Cisladin. Let's cross our fingers we catch up with them on the way. I mean, the plan was always for me to take you guys to Cisloden anyway. But a word of advice. Oh? There's a forest we have to pass through on our way there. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. More Zugals? Wild ones at that. They hunt in packs led by the biggest, meanest one. My friends and I got cornered by one on our way to Calaglia. That's how we got split up. We'll just have to keep our wits about us, then. The forest we're about to walk through is pretty dangerous. Let's make sure we're prepared before we go further. Rinwell, if you get injured, just let Xion know, okay? Mm. I only have one pair of hands, you know. This came out so good, I almost hate having to eat it! Shion, could we talk a moment? And here I was, thinking I could get some rest. Is something the matter? The matter? No, no, nothing like that. And if it's all the same to you, I'll be going to sleep, thanks. Is chatting with me really that much of a drag? I just don't get the point, that's all. Is there some pressing reason why we have to talk right now? I don't know, I just... I think we should all make an effort to get to know one another. What if there's an emergency? An emergency? What if one of us suddenly got sick? Then I'd cure them with my healing arts and we'd move on. That's easy for you to say, but for the person doing the asking, it may not be so easy to approach you. If they can't work up the courage to approach me, that's their problem. Unless you're suggesting I refuse to heal someone for the fun of it. I didn't say that. So what then? Quit beating around the bush and just tell me. Look, what I'm trying to say is... If we're going to be traveling together, it makes more sense to do it as companions, rather than being at each other's throats the whole time. I still don't get it. <sighs> but I do understand that whatever it is, it obviously must mean a lot to you. I'm not trying to make things more difficult for you just for the sake of it. So, I'll make more of an effort to talk every now and then, even when we don't have to. Happy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. And if you don't mind, I'm going to get some sleep. Have a good night. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't get it, huh? I think it's time we go to sleep. How long do you plan on just sitting around doing nothing, Alfin? 
because it looks to me like you're taking your sweet time getting ready. I'm not procrastinating, if that's what you're implying. Oh? Sure looks like it to me. You had me worried you'd forgotten our mission. Again. I know, I know. You don't need to keep reminding me. Hey, Alfin. I'm already over here. R right Thanks for letting me know. I saw you talking with that Bright Eyes before Lights Out last night. Mind telling me what you two discussed? Nothing in particular. I just figured that maybe she would open up a little if I tried talking to her. What? Her? She's a Renin. I know we're working with her, but that doesn't mean we have to play nice with her. Look, we're all going to be traveling together for a while. It's only going to make things harder if we're at each other's throats. If all we do is bark orders at each other instead of working together, that's not much different than how it is for the rest of us. I think it's important that we all understand each other and work together as equals, if it's at all possible. Do we, though? <sighs> because I sure don't get the feeling she means to do the same. <sighs> As soon as Zephyr disappears, all hell breaks loose. We can't get anything done if things stay tense like this. But what the hell am I supposed to do? Well, I guess I'll just have to keep hammering away at them and see how it goes. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. Can't believe I'm camping with a Renin of all people. Shion saved my hide before. You can trust her. But you know how much the Renins have hurt us? Yeah, but Shion's always done right by us, hasn't she? <sighs> I guess. That turned out good, if I do say so myself. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Hoodle. Let me know if you sense anything. Another day, another gold.
So this is the forest teeming with Zoogles you warned us about. No sign of Zephyr, though. Which means either they had the skills to make it through safely, or were too late and the strays got to them first. Do you say every thought out loud? Just the true ones. Are we moving or what? Don't worry, Hoodle. It's okay. I can barely see enough to take two steps forward without bumping into something. Yeah. I have to be careful not to miss anything coming from off the path. This is nothing. When things get real bad around here, you can get lucky. Let's dispose of the trash. Feel my toes. Let's find a way back up quickly then. easily see us getting lost here while we're trying to find Zephyr. I get this is supposed to connect the capital to the villages. But why is it? So winding. And not only that, why are there so many Zoogles walking? Right, here goes! Uh, it's over! I'll take you all off! Uh, it's over! Uh, You're on! You're mine!
over. Easy peasy. Ha huh, hoodle. Less Wait, talking, yeah, yeah, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. More for the stockpile. Start up! Last breathing storm! You're mine! Huh? Huh? Astral energy! Say no more! This should make for some good weapon crafting material. to behold. I'm not trying to be dramatic. Sky is Still, it's a part of me. Embrace it. You're mine! You're finished! Smash the shock! Searing flame! Reload! Why are we smoking? Do it! I'm not done! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! With your flames and my technique... We're stronger together than we are apart. Hey, new equipment!
Radar. What's wrong? Huh? My guess. <laughs> Got it. For real? Shion. Just doing what I can. We're so high up.
Maybe it's time I try on something new. Company, and not the nice kind either. Rinwell, get back! And miss all the action? Who do you take me for? Out of our way! It's a big target at least. Don't underestimate its speed. Damn it! Gonna be real handy again. It takes a true marksman to use. Well, I can't think of anyone better than you, Shira. We've turned the tables on it. There are no more left. Right. No time to hold back. It's showtime. Lightning to death. Water. Here we go. Spread. You're mine. You're mine. You're mine. You're finished. Here's a healing arm. Oh, oh, oh. You're finished. May a thousand gales huh. carry you to Take Christ. This. One more! You're finished! Now! Take it! Huh. You're Mega finished! Huh. Huh. I'm not done! Huh. Okay, Rinwell? I I'm fine.
all these Sugals. They're dead. What happened here? They didn't do this to each other. So then how... Did all of this? was that guy? Do you think he could have been the lord we're looking for? Ganabelt? I doubt a lord would deign to roam around a place like this alone. Besides, what business would a Renan have with killing Zoogles? Now that I look at it, it was a good call staying out of his way, I think. Look at this. He took them out with a single slice. This guy's no amateur. <laughs> you okay? Uh, oh. Um, yeah. We should get going. Zephyr needs us. That knight back there sure wasn't messing around. If he's not a lord, what is he? I have no idea. I've never seen anybody like him. Well, he definitely doesn't seem to be a friend, that's for sure. Hopefully we don't run into him again. There it is. Sisloden. What's with those beams of light? They don't strike me as your everyday streetlights. They're kind of the key to this whole realm. You'll see what I mean when we get there. <sighs> What's on your mind? First, Rinwell appears out of nowhere, right after we beat Balsef. Then, we bump into Zephyr's son, who's with the enemy. Somehow, we get away scot-free because the Snake Eyes don't even bother chasing after us. Is it really a coincidence? You think it was a trap? W what But I would never... If not for the whole Astral Arts episode, I'd be worried. But no, she's not behind this. Perhaps an unwitting pawn in someone else's plan. <sighs> what? All this to capture Zephyr? Maybe. All I know is it all slots together a little too nicely for my liking. Not that dwelling on it'll get us anywhere. Trap or otherwise, we've got a lord to defeat. So how do we get inside? What? Well, we can't just march into the Viper's Nest through the front door, surely. There's a secret passage near a spring on the outskirts of the city. We can get in through there. I hate camping out. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Are those mage clothes that you're wearing? So what if they are? The large hood is cute, and it's big enough to hold. And the way the fabric is cut into strips is really unique. I had no idea this sort of fashion existed on Dana. C -c Quit staring! 
Did I say something to offend you? No, I think she's just not used to the attention. Good! This came out just the way I hoped. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Another day, another gold. I think he's saying something's over there. going on? Why did the weather change all of a sudden? The snow's gone, <sighs> and it doesn't even feel cold anymore. Just what's going on? What is this place? I see something big farther in. Is that a zookle? No. An owl? <laughs> Hoodle doesn't seem too wary, so it's probably not hostile. Let's go see what's up then. Stay sharp. I don't get it. Why has it suddenly started giving us things? Hey, is that owl beckoning us over? I think it is. It's the owl we rescued before. Then maybe that's what the gifts are all about. It's thanking us for saving its friend. <laughs> This one isn't just bigger than Hoodle, though. Something about it seems almost... regal. Don't you think? What if it was the king of the owls? Would that make the other one the queen? You think so? Yes, they're clearly a pair. Is this some kind of owl sanctuary? It's such a big place, though. I wonder if those two were living here all alone until we rescued that owl. I thought no other owls existed, but here they are. And a king and queen by the looks of them. You never know what other ones might be out there until we look for them. It's not like you were searching the whole world over yourself, right, Rinwell? That's... well, I mean, yeah. I guess you've got a point. Hey, Hoodle! How about we find more of your friends and tell them about this place? It can be a little side mission on our trip, if that's okay. It's fine with me. We'll find as many as we can. Thank you. Rinwell? It's nothing. Don't mind me. Ready to move on? Thank you. 
think Hudo senses an owl around here. I hate camping out. So the guys we saw back in Messia were snake eyes. And your group fighting them is... The Silver Swords. Heck, we even have members working within the snake eyes gathering intel for us. Sounds like it involves a lot of double crossing. It does. But it keeps us alive and one step ahead. Calaglia wouldn't have been liberated without those double agents. Looks like it could be worth something. moving. Rinwell. Hey, Rinwell! What are you doing here? If the Snake Eyes spot you here, they'll... So you did make it back alive. Man, am I glad to see you safe. Barely. When we all got separated, I thought... They're fine. They all got back in one piece. Well, Azugul took a bite out of two of our guys, but... What matters is you're safe. So, you gonna introduce me? Meet Alfin and Xion. I brought them with me from Calaglia. 
You mean you made it to Calaglia? Wait, this is it? Just the two of them? Where's the rest? Well, it's kind of a long story. It's best if I fill everyone in at once. Your call, Rinwell. But everyone will be dying to know. We better get back as soon as we can. Use this passage whenever you need to go in or out of the city. Stay away from the front gate, whatever you do. away from a battle. <sighs> is the Blazing Sword okay? A little water's not going to hurt it. A blip on our radar. Done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Little help! Your mom is gone! You picked the wrong fight! Your mom! It's over! Damn it! Now! Reload! Here I come! You're finished! Let's Take this! It's over! Reload! You're mine! You're finished! What the hell? Start up! Now! By the power of one! Astral energy! Full throttle! Together, that wasn't even a problem.
design of this equipment is really interesting. You must really like it, Alfin. I won't forgive you! Take it! Slash the shot! We did I'm not care! Come and face me! It's over! I'm not done! You're mine! Huh? Divine Here I am. Well, it's we're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the truck. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. That's what I like to hear. Like this should be easy. Raging campaign! Slap the shock! In here! Start up! Warm the Do it! Time. Take this! Huh. A banana! Let go! It's over! You're mine! Let Do it! Shock. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. How do the Rans not know about this secret route of yours? Cisloden's an old city, littered with pathways that people have long forgotten. But keep your voice down. We don't know how long this route will stay hidden. Sense one of your friends, Hoodle? So this is Sisloden, capital city of Sislonia. Be careful. You never know where Snake Eyes or their informants are lurking. We are basically walking into a Zoogle's den here. basis. As long as people don't get reported on and sent to work the floodlights, economic activity is allowed here. All this talk about reports and permits. <sighs> this place really is different from Calaglia. You're saying we should check the Owl Forest?
good to see you. Who's this? They're with me. If you say so. Come on, Menek's waiting. We can talk in there. The name's Menek, leader of the Silver Swords. And I wish I could extend my warmest welcome to you all, but... If my eyes don't deceive me, you appear to have a Renan in your midst. If she is your prisoner, that's a rather loose leash you have her on. She's not a prisoner. So why do I get the feeling there's a rat about the house? No offense intended. See, I've grown comfortable with the likely outcome I'll be stabbed in the back. But stabbed in the front? We risked our lives just to get here, sir. If you want to send her away, fine. But you'll lose me, too. I see. Trust is in about as short supply as light around these parts, and mine more than anyone's. But... I'll choose to believe you. Forgive my manners. You must be tired after such an arduous journey. But to business. We need your strength. The Snake Eye's grip on the city tightens by the day. Our people are suffocating out there. Hence the scouts I sent to find help. We're at the end of our tether here. That's why we're here. To help. We've got the firepower to do it, too. But first, we've got some urgent business to take care of. I see. So your leader is in need of rescuing. It's none of your concern. We get that. But... It's coming to our aid that got you into this mess in the first place. You can count on us. Just as long as you help us with our problem afterwards. If he's been arrested by the Snake Eyes, as you say, then there's a good chance he's being interrogated over at their headquarters. Either that, or he's being put to work over at the Floodlights. First priority is finding out where he is. If you're planning on tagging along, Rinwell will show you the way. Just make sure to keep a low profile. Remember, it's not just the Snake Eyes. Hostiles lurk among the villagers, too. This leader of yours, he must be quite the inspiration for you to go to such lengths for him. I look forward to meeting him someday. Let's head into town and see what the fuss is. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. All done. Come and eat.
that's where those beams of light have been coming from. Right. Any Danans accused of dissent against the Slodia's lord are rounded up and brought here, then put to work. It's a fierce deterrent. And you think Zephyr might be in there with them? I want to see what the lights are all pointing towards. Take us there. where the floodlights converge from all the way over here. I want to take a closer look. There's something I need to confirm. What could possibly be worth the risk of us all getting spotted? You'll find out when we get there. Everybody walking around looks so depressed. Can you blame them? They live under the cover of darkness day and night. It's bound to wear you down. Not to mention all the snake eyes roaming around. Laughing. loud, or just about anything that makes you stand out can get you killed. spirit vessel. I thought as much. So they're pumping it full of light. No, not light. Astral energy. Of course. No wonder this realm's so dark. It's as though there's a pall over the sky even during the day. Except it isn't dark. Not really. The light's just being diverted. Diverted? Suck up all the light, and all that's left over is darkness. What's the difference? Darkness exists as an actual element of astral energy, just like light does. Didn't you know that? Mm. Let me break it down for you. Astral energy exists as different elements. There's earth, water, fire, and wind, as well as light and darkness. But dark astral energy only exists on Rena, and light astral energy on Dana. So dark energy isn't harvested as part of the crown contest. She's right. It's the same reason why I can't wield dark energy, and similarly, why no Renans can use light energy either. The only exception to that rule on the Renan end is likely the Lord here, who has the Light Master Core. Whatever the case, it looks like they're collecting light here the same way they were fire back in Calaglia. From what I hear, there used to be a proper day and night cycle in Cislodia ages ago, but apparently, 
Over the last 300 years, the darkness spread from Sisloden and covered the whole realm. That's crazy. I can't believe the Renans found a way to steal even our own damn light. We shouldn't linger. Let's keep moving before someone spots us. Wandering around blindly is getting us nowhere. The Snake Eyes have the information we need, but we can't just ask for it. So what if we sneak in and take it instead? I wasn't aware you knew how to be sneaky. Uh, hey, look over there! That's Zephyr's son. Law. I don't know. Something doesn't feel right about all this. Are you kidding? He's practically gift-wrapped for us. Hey, what are you? <sighs> I remember you. What do you want? We don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk quietly. Deal? Make it quick. Where are you keeping Zephyr? Uh, uh, We're here to rescue him. Why? What do you mean, why? Isn't he your father? Oh yeah, easy to forget that. After he abandoned me. Abandoned? It's the truth. All my old man ever cared about was sticking it to the Bright Eyes. He never even made it to Mom's funeral. So you become an agent for the local lord? You got a problem with that? You're not exactly one to talk, keeping company with a Renin woman. You think you know her, but wait until she has a choice between you and her people. I may have become an agent for the Renins. But at least I'm here trying to soothe the agony of my people from the inside. What's your excuse? I don't buy it. No. You're running because you're scared. You think you're the only one who's had to suffer? What the hell do you know, you- <laughs> What the- Damn you! Word to the wise, people like you Enough. make me- Look, I don't know what happened between you and your father, but what I do know is that when you fought back at the village, he wouldn't raise a hand to strike you. <sighs> I've never seen Zephyr back down from a fight, but he could never hurt his own son. And when he said he was staying behind, I think it was because he wasn't willing to abandon you. If you know anything, then tell us. Please! I... I don't know where they're keeping my dad now. All I've heard is that they're going to publicly execute him. In the plaza in front of headquarters. Execute? Thank you. You did the right thing. Why are you so determined to help my father? Zephyr is the reason I took up the sword. He taught me how to think for myself. And I want to learn more. If they're going to execute him in the plaza, then it'll be too dangerous for us to go alone. Let's ask Menik. He should be able to sneak us in. Sounds good to me. Let's have a chat with him.
So, you made it back in one piece. No promising leads unearthed on this end, I'm afraid. It may take a little longer. We got our own lead, but it's not good. They're planning to execute Zephyr in the plaza in front of the Snake Eyes headquarters. And soon. They're going to what? I've never known them to move so fast. They must believe he poses a grave threat. We have to break him out. We could really use your help. Not gonna be easy, but I'm sure we can think of something. If they're staging it in the plaza, there's bound to be an announcement beforehand. Which means if we can... Snake Eyes! They've got us surrounded! Damn! I knew we shouldn't have trusted! Save it! In position, everyone! Repel them! Use us, Menek. We've got your back. No. You need to get out of here now. Rinwell, you know what to do. Underground waterway to the rear. On it. But... No discussions. You didn't make it this far for it to end here. We'll be fine. We just have to buy you a little time. I'll send word later. Now get going already! So this passage runs beneath the whole city, huh? Pretty clean for a Dan and sewer. Are you sure it's safe down here, Rinwell? It's our emergency evacuation route, so it should be. You sure it's as secret as you think? We can use this chance to clear the way for Menek and the others when they follow. Let's go! Enemies show up the moment we do. Are we the reason for it? We can puzzle over it later. We gotta run! weapon material when I see it. I'm right behind you, Shion. Oh, 
Together, that wasn't even a problem. Let me take a look at it. Like this should be easy. Water, here I come. Here comes. Come. Here I come. Spread. Hope this works. Here we come. turn the tables up. There are still yeah. more left. Yeah. Right. No time to hold back. Here I come. You are in tip top shape. As soon as I'm done here, I'll come help out. How could a girl ever say no? These little ones are hardly worth it. Less talking, more pummeling. 
Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Should this really be here? So, I get that you perform a certain type of astral arts, but why does your magic look so different from what Renan's use? Is it a different source or something? I'm not exactly an expert on how Renan's cast magic, but we both manipulate astral energy to create it. We just channel that energy in different ways. Like how you chant your spells, whereas they throw out those weird symbols? Yeah, and just like how there are different ways to use a sword. There are elemental differences between us two. For example, light is only in Dana, and darkness is only in Rena. Ah, all right, that makes sense. So let me ask, does that mean you can't use any dark magic at all? Or that they're just more attuned to it? Basically not at all. Since I don't have any dark energy inside my body, there might be an indirect way to tap into it, but I wouldn't know. I didn't learn everything that my family knew about magic, so it's hard for me to say for sure. Fair enough. Thanks for teaching me all that. I really do appreciate it. Sure thing. Looks like we found our mystery resident. The Snake Eyes must have kept it here in case of intruders. We can't let it slow us down. Let's finish it and... I wasn't expecting something so big. They want to make sure we don't leave. Then we'll just have to beat it. For everyone's sake. I owe you a... No escape! This is a blazing storm! The flashing part's their weak point. It's gonna attack! Right, watch out! You're mine! You're mine! Here I come! Right! Here I come! Take this! It's over! You're mine! Get on in there! 
You okay? Bregan? What are you doing here? When I heard the Snake Eyes had attacked, I figured you'd probably be headed this way sooner or later. Come on, it won't be long before they sniff us out. We need to find safer ground. What about the others we left behind? Minnick can handle himself. Have a little faith. Come on, follow me.
How many of these hideouts do you guys have exactly? Enough. You can never be too careful these days. We even keep some of them secret from each other. So long as you don't let anyone tail you, you're welcome to use them as you please. So what's our plan of action? We're still going to rescue Zephyr, right? That goes without saying. If only we knew where he was, we could... Hey! You're gonna want to see this! Found guilty of all charges. The Calaglian dissident will forthwith be executed in witness of His Excellency Lord Ganabelt. Clause 2 of the Special Curfew Act has been initiated with immediate effect throughout the realm. All Danans not involved in special duties or corrective labor must remain indoors until further notice and watch the execution broadcast. Any citizens found in breach of this protocol will be arrested as dissidents. This is a direct order. Repeat, this is you a think public announcement. About your I thought, but Law said it had days, not hours. Looks like it's been brought forward. Just hold on. Where do you think you're going? We don't even have a plan yet. Screw the damn plan! If we don't leave now, Zephyr's going to be murdered! Alpin, we've got to go. The clock's ticking. <sighs> we've all got to go some way, I guess. We'll join up with you afterwards. We might be able to create a diversion. Good idea. Let's go. We have to get to the plaza. What's going on? Why did the execution get moved up? Up. Calm down. We don't know enough to say what's going on here. Got no way of knowing what happened to Menek and the others. Damn it. Hey, Zephyr and the others will be okay. Right? Let's just get to the plaza and fast. the execution in there? Hey, you lot! Trespassers! Think the curfew doesn't apply to you, huh? Uh-oh. Now what? Doesn't seem like there's any other way in. I say we fight our way through. Wait! I recognize them. They were with the dissident! No choice, then. Look sharp, everyone! The sooner we take care of these guys, the sooner we can rescue him. If you have time to talk, maybe you could focus on the task at hand? How about you stop telling us what to do? Not get off! No! I never miss! Abort! Miss him! There's no end to these guys. Zephyr!
Attention, citizens, subjects, and slaves of Cislodia. I, Lord Ganabelt Valkyris, do formally open these proceedings. Behold! The brazen worm who would dare threaten the peace and order of our fair city. As if his scheme weren't foolish enough, he then made the mistake of thinking he could hide it. Take heed, Danans, and engrave this edict into your souls. Such fools' right to life in Cislovia shall be forfeit. Now, Embedded, you should listen carefully. Before my final verdict, I am prepared to offer you an unprecedented chance at mercy. Where are your comrades? Give them up before those assembled, and I shall spare you your life. <laughs> Fine time I have. If you're so tremendously determined to suffer for the sake of your allies, then I will see to it that you do. everyone yet? Just what do you want me to say? <laughs> First, tell the people about the mistakes you made. Then, the whereabouts of your friends. <sighs> mistakes, huh? Where to start? I've made so many in my life that I've lost count. All my life I've had to fight, but I have known nothing but loss. I was so caught up in the struggle to survive in this world that I ended up neglecting my own family. I have lost so many good friends. I even lost my wife and my son. I'll never be able to fix these mistakes. Not a single one. It sounds to me as if the greatest mistake of your life was never learning to stay down when you were beaten. A good man once told me if I take up this fight, I'd have to pay a price. Turns out he was right. After all, the very people and things I was fighting to protect the most were payment. I don't regret keeping up the fight for a second. But still, not a single day goes by when I do not think about what I have lost. Not telling others how much they truly meant to me before it was too late. That is your answer. That's the greatest mistake of my life. Do yourselves a favor and never become like me. Don't continue to make the same mistakes until it's too late to fix them. Ask yourself what it is you couldn't bear to lose. What do you want to protect with all of your might? Then hold on and never let go! That's quite enough. <laughs> Listen to that voice deep inside of you. Together, no wall can hold you back. And the same goes for the ones the Lord made you build inside your own hearts! You 
is still hanging in there, Dad. Oh, you saved me. Damn you. I, I've been such an idiot. <laughs> I need to... Now's not exactly the best time to catch up. There's still a lord in need of beating. Yeah, you're right about that. So you're the son, are you? <laughs> I thought I'd ordered for you to be relieved of your duties until all this was over. I'll see to it the person at fault is reprimanded appropriately. What? Oh, well. You've served your purpose more excellently than anyone could have hoped. Zephyr! If it isn't the infamous Alphen of Calaglia. And he's joined by his fellow conspirators, the likes of Traitor and that Danon Witch. They're not conspirators. They're friends. And they're not alone. Oh, Medic! You finally made it! Your reign is over right now! You hear me, Gannabelt? The Master Corps is acting up. What is it? Uh, Menic? Hm. I was hoping to drag this out a little longer. But that's a Master Core. What? <laughs> no, Dad! So the Master Cores react to each other, I see. How interesting. You can drop the act. It's over. All this time? It was really you? Every second. You stand before the Lord of Cislodia, Ganabelt Valkyris, in the flesh. You mean... a Renan Lord's been leading the Danon Resistance? You're not the only one skilled in the art of deception, you know. A mere side vocation in my own case, but... sufficient in bringing the blazing sword of Calaglia to my doorstep. Me? <laughs> All of this was just to get to me? Alpin! Zephyr is... Dad! Dad! That's a special poison. Ordinary healing arts will do you no good. <laughs> I wouldn't fret about it, friends. You'll all be dead soon enough. Don't even think of escaping, Dissident! We need to hurry. Otherwise, so we're not getting out of here without a fight. No! No! Alvin? I have no limits! Got us 
Dad's outgunned. And all while we're on the defensive. Dad! Dad, come on! Stay with me! <laughs> all this trouble to buy yourself a few extra seconds before you die? <sighs> you bastard! <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> They've fled. They'll be back, though. Draw up a welcome party. We'll be ready when they return. Did we lose them? Looks like it for now. Come on, even if we did lose them, they'll be after us soon enough. Besides, we have Zephyr to worry about. The sooner we get back to the safe house, the better. <laughs> All of creation across the heavens stems from the six essences. We lack only darkness while they are without light. Thus, to achieve perfection... What are you muttering over there? I was practicing a magic incantation. An incantation? Is it anything like the spells that people use today? Not quite. It takes time for me to finish my chants, so I'm practicing saying them quickly and accurately. You know, just in case. I've... Always tried my best never to use magic if I can avoid it up until now. You said you and your family used to live in hiding, right? Because you were a mage. Where did all the other mages go? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a sensitive topic. It's okay. Hey, Rinwell. Do you always have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah. They don't really add any extra power or anything, but reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full incantation, I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing. Yeah. I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later. Open your eyes! I'm sorry. I can't stop the poison's advance. Thank you. Zephyr! The struggle's in your hands now. Oh. Are you there, my son? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here, Dad. Please just... Oh, I can't see you. Are you there? Oh. Oh. Listen, I've always... Dad. 
this can't be. No, it can't. We never... I didn't... And now he's gone. <laughs> I had a feeling we might have a rat among us. But to be menic of all people. So what do we do now? I'm going. Law. That bastard Ganabelt will pay. You have to know that Ganabelt will be expecting us. This is all an obvious trap. I don't give a damn if it is. There's no way I'm letting that bastard get away with this. He's right, you can about. Mess with the wrong people. Alfin, you can't just... Weren't you the one who said you wanted to take on the Lords? Or would you rather go back to Calaglia? I won't allow you to put words in my mouth. All I'm saying is we shouldn't rush things. I don't need any of you coming along. This score is mine to settle. But you're not the only one who wants to avenge Zephyr's death. He's right. Besides, if we don't take him on right now, we may never get another opportunity. If you're going, that means you're going to need the Blazing Sword. If we do this, we can't afford to make any mistakes. Are you really sure? You can ask us again after we've defeated the Lord. Please, allow me to help you as well. Think of it as an apology for getting you into this whole mess. It's the least I can do. Feel free to use anything in here you might need. Aren't you worried about getting ambushed? Impossible. I built this hideout with my own two hands. Menic. No Ganabelt doesn't know it exists. Then let's go. Time to avenge Zephyr and free the realm's people. There's no way you can complain about how this tastes!
I wonder if something happened.
die. of the trash. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. <laughs> Got it. No armor's a match for me! You mean you can get past that shield? Just let him do his thing. Shattering the pieces! Attack time! Let him do his thing! Here I come! This armor's too strong! Split it up! Be my guest! This ends now! I can carve through armor! Take it! Slash the shot! We're not finished! Here I come! It's over! And they're rising perfectly! They're free! You're mine! Never was so good! You're mine! You're mine! Too much to handle? Water! Here I come! You're finished! You're finished! Here I come! You're finished! Fine weapon material when I see it. Danabelt must be somewhere inside. How about it, Law? Any idea which way it is? This is a Renan castle. You think they were in the habit of letting a Danon like me inside? Point taken. The astral energy's off the scale. Almost like it's pressing down on me. You can feel it? The whole castle must be brimming with it. My hunch is it'll get stronger the deeper we go. It must be the spirit vessel. You can bet anything it's pulsing with stored astral energy. We can't let Ganabelt use it against us. Then we can assume that's his plan A. <laughs> let him try. I'll destroy anything he throws at us. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nexus. Got it. I'm right behind you, Shion. Hey! Hmm. Yes! Ren and sensibilities is another matter altogether. It's us Danons who built this structure, you know. How would we know what Renan's like? Who cares? Let's hurry up and get to the top floor so we can kick Danabelt's ass. Don't 
You think that shield will save you? It's almost too strong. Split it open. Be my guest. It's over. Severing wings. You're mine. I'm ready for the next battle. What is this place? Some kind of armory? Looks like they're more for decorative purposes than actual combat. Does it matter? We've got a job to do. Wait, this isn't Renan. It's... Danon. Really? And not just this one either. All of these. It's all Danon gear. What's Danon equipment doing on display inside a Renan castle? Ask around later if you're so interested. But for now, we've got more pressing matters to attend to, remember? open the door? We still don't know how to activate the elevator. We'll just have to see what we can figure out. That bastard! Giving us the run around! Like this should be easy. Slash the shock! Dark! Reload! Heal! Magic Falcon! 
Barely a blip on our radar. Does this look like an elevator key to you guys? Only one way to find out. Let's go. Your friend, Poodle? Look 
Shark! Lightning Tiger Blade! Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Check 
the Owl Forest? It's about time. I was beginning to worry you'd jump ship like the rats you are. You're not so fortunate. We're here to end you. To liberate Cislodia. To avenge Zephyr. <laughs> you talk big, but don't you think you're forgetting something? Of your precious resistance groups, whether the Silver Swords or any others, none have ever dealt a blow to Renan domination. 
In each and every realm, the story is the same. Until you. You, who wields the blazing sword of Calaglia, are different. News of Balsef's defeat really took the wind out of your sails. <laughs> that brute? A bad case of brawn over brain. Certainly no loss to me. Still, even the smallest of sparks can grow into an inferno. I must give precedence to the task at hand, extinguishing you. Snuffing out your fire before it spreads across the five realms. That's... no. He can't be... Rinwell? N nothing I'm fine. Ah, Ganabelt Valkyris, Lord of Cislodia, accept your challenge. Come and meet your death. You'll pay for what you did to my father! <laughs> the feisty mouth wishes to bite the hand that feeds, does he? I never wanted to serve you! I had no choice! No, that freaking does it! Significant worm! Now return to dust! This should do it! If we take another assault from that arc, we're done for! That mirage he created! It can channel all of his energy! Then I guess we gotta get in quick and hit him all! Where are you going? 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 Where are you
to believe this. It cannot end this way. If I die, my subjects will...
it's over. But Zephyr's still gone. Focus on the positive. We defeated a lord, and under difficult circumstances, too. <laughs> Focus on the positive? Zephyr's dead, Shion. And the Renans ruled this world unimpeded for three centuries. Did you think there wouldn't be any sacrifices? So Zephyr's life just doesn't matter? He's dead, Shion. Our friend is dead! We're fighting this damn war to keep people alive! Yeah, you're right. This is a war. Did you just realize that? Zephyr wasn't the first to die, and he sure won't be the last. If you can't handle that, Alfin, then you should run back to Calaglia. And when you do, just remember to leave the Blazing Sword here, in safer hands. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Damn it. She just thinks she can say whatever she likes. Bickering among ourselves at a time like this isn't gonna get us anywhere. Especially at a time like this. <sighs> All right. Fine. So much for Ganabelt. Good riddance. You said it. So, was the Lord of Calaglia like Ganabelt too? No. Balsef was huge, a real tough guy act. Now that I think of it, his crest was different too. His was a flaming cross. Ah, oh, I see. Uh, anyway, what do you guys plan on doing from here? We keep moving. Three Renan Lords remain, and we won't rest until their thrones are empty as well. That worked for you, Xion? That was my endgame from the beginning. Uh, hey, so if it's not too much trouble, could I maybe come along? Isn't Cislodia your home? I mean, yes, but... It's just, now that everyone knows what I've been hiding, well, it might be best to get as far away as I can until it all quiets down. Is that okay? I promise I'll pull my own weight. Sure. You're welcome to join us. Taking off, huh? Yeah. Thanks for everything. It's too bad. I wish there was more we could do to pay you back for all you've done. I'll see to it personally that Zephyr's remains reach Calaglia safely. What's next for Cislodia? I honestly couldn't tell you. The enemy infiltrated its way right to our core as a people. Only time will tell if we can rise above our suspicions and come together. Zephyr once told me that so long as you don't give up, there's no wall that can't be torn down. Sounds about right. And thanks to you, the greatest obstacle that was in our way is now gone. I suppose the rest of it will be up to us. I look forward to seeing how far you'll go. Oh, I almost forgot. Before you head off, there's something I wanted to give you. Hmm? up real nice. It was a parting gift. It's like speaking to one of the old Danon heroes from legend. 
Where to next, then? Elda Menencia. You're really going to travel in that thing? Why not? It's not as heavy as it looks. Actually, there's someone I was hoping we could invite along with us. You can't be serious. Got some place to be? Not really. I mean, I can't stay here, of course. Then again, there's no one waiting for me back in Calaglia either. Plenty of ditches along the road. Maybe I'll find one to die in. How about a fresh start? After the kinds of things I've done, I don't know where I'd even begin. Your father said that as long as you face the past, there's hope. I think it might be a little late for that. He also said he'd fought and lost all his life, but didn't regret it in the slightest. <laughs> it's only over when you give up. Keep fighting and even that wall inside you can be brought down. Don't you want to see what your dad saw on the other side of that wall? What he was fighting for? Do you... Do you think I'm even worthy to? That's for you to decide. I... I'm sick of losing everything I love of running from life. Maybe all that's left is to just turn around and face it. Count me in. Finally. I thought you'd never finish. We've still got a ways to go. This armor was a gift from... Bregan. What if it really did belong to a Danon hero once upon a time? He challenged an overwhelmingly powerful Renin foe and perished for it. I wonder how he felt. Having the hopes of the people riding on him. Stay sharp. We're going in.
don't sense any more enemies. Okay, off we go. Blip on our radar. I think it's safe to rest here now.
I hate camping out. It's like my hands aren't responding anymore. It's because they're cold. Just a natural reaction. I'll have everybody's mouths watering when they see this. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Hoodle, come here, sweetie. Good boy. What are you doing? Uh, it's flying practice. Hoodle doesn't really like to leave my side, but if I don't make him spread those wings every now and then, they'll start to weaken. It's important he practices. Also, I'm pretty sure he put on some extra weight. Oh. Probably because everyone keeps sneaking him snacks when you're not looking. I knew it! I thought there was something fishy going on. Oh, it's really not good for birds to be overweight, you know? Oh, really? Ah, I'm sorry, Rinwell. You were feeding him too? You haven't been giving him anything he can't eat, have you? I'm pretty sure everything I've given him has been okay. Just to be sure though, why don't you tell me what he can't eat? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Is something the matter? No, no, not at all. It's just, for a really long time, Hoodle was the only friend I had. So, on the one hand, it makes me really happy to see everyone be so accepting. But on the other, it's a bit of an adjustment sharing him, you know? Every one of us can see that he's like family to you. I can promise no one's trying to ignore your feelings or anything. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I'll talk to the others about it later. Hoodle, let me know if you sense anything.
Another day, another gold. It's hard to even walk with all this. This is great. The taste and aroma will blow everyone away. Shion, could we talk a moment? I think it's time we go to sleep. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. to rest here now. Thanks for letting me stick around, you guys. Sure. We're happy to have you. But are you sure you don't want to head back to Calaglia? Yeah. I'm not sure how I can help yet. But for now... I'm going to follow Alfin and... See what happens next. Where does that drawbridge connect to? No idea, but I've seen it get lowered. It can't be lowered from this side anyway. So it's... Sky, it's mine! This 
one's mine! Oh, you're mine! Savage you're war. finished! Come one, come on! We're thinning them out! We want me! Take the bullet that I'm impressed! Very slight! You're mine! Who wants me? You're done! Here I Gemini come! Now. You're finished! My fists are crushing it out there! on the prize. I'm done here. Come help out. Didn't even break a sweat. I think there's someone in trouble here. Right, here goes! I'm not done! Freezing storm! I'm on it! Sweet now! I'm not done! I'm not done! I'm not done! I'm not done! It's over! Right. I'm, I'm like made to them. You're mine! Blind freaks! Why can't they just sit still? Sion, can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. Woo! Well, looky here. Huh. <sighs> What's wrong? Ugh. Really? Ah! Sure. <laughs> Hey. Ah! Right. Right. Nice work. What? Hey! Well? Hmm. What? What? Very nice. <laughs> Boy, talk about a spry old man. I can't wait to see him again. You really liked that apple pie, didn't you? Pond, huh? Are they edible? Sure, they're edible, but we've got no way to catch any. I hate camping out.
Hmm. I guess even someone as fashionable as you wouldn't know a whole lot about Dan and Armor, right? Not really, no. Like, what's with that scarf? I don't remember that being with any of the armor we found back there. Oh, well, remember how you told me you thought I'd look good wearing some blue? I took your advice to heart and decided to give it a go. Uh, oh, I see. Well, it suits you. Would you say I've learned to spruce things up like you suggested? I wouldn't go that far. Hey, that actually came out pretty all right, don't you think? Make sure to get some good rest. All right, guys. Ready to go? Yeah, sorry. Just a little travel weary is all. Looking forward to finally getting out of here, you know? Still beating yourself up about your dad, aren't you? <sighs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But that's not what I was just thinking about. Oh? I never did tell you how I ended up hanging around with the Snake Eyes, did I? Not properly. All I know is you had a falling out with your dad and ran away from home. Getting to Cislodia almost killed me. Once there, though, I actually ended up joining a resistance organization, believe it or not. Of course, before long, someone ratted us out. And we were ambushed by the Snake Eyes. I'd never seen such brutality. If I hadn't surrendered... Law? I don't know why. They let me live. They made me watch as they butchered my friends right in front of my eyes. I still have nightmares. I hear roars of Zoogles as my friends scream. The snow stained red with blood. And all the while, those bastards laughing. I thought that with Ganabelt defeated, I'd be able to put it all behind me. Turns out that was a little optimistic. I was terrified they would kill me too. So I wound up betraying the memory of my friends and getting my old man killed in the process. I wonder if I'm any braver now. What if one day I panic again and end up running away like always? And leave us behind? You really think you'd do that? I hope not. But who's to say what I'm really capable of? Ah! I found you! Something wrong, Rinwell? How very perceptive of you. When I turned around, you were gone, so we came back to look for you. Maybe tell us next time you decide to stop? We need all our manpower to face these Zoogles. Jeez, okay. I can't help it when nature calls, can I? Nature? Ew, gross! Here? Let's make tracks, shall we? I hope he makes it through this. You invited him along. He's your liability. He's Zephyr's son, Shion. What was I supposed to do? Just leave him? Fine. Just don't come crying to me about it, alright? I've got enough deadbeats slowing me down as it is. <laughs> 